What's up, Panda? It's Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I don't know if you snowboard or ski or do winter activities, but if you do, wear a helmet. Don't let yourself get a head injury. So I actually picked up this helmet. This one's from Lucky Bums. It comes in kind of this little Tyvek uh, bag. I don't actually know if this is Tyvek. It doesn't seem like it. It's, it actually feels like the, uh, the the bags that come in vacuum cleaners. It's a little bit softer. Uh, but uh, this is the Lucky Bums 123 Black XL. This is a metallic black, extra large helmet. And I just wanted to show it to you because I thought I'd use it and try it out and uh, you know, it's really important to stay safe. Now, so there are some things that I really like about it and some things that I don't, but I think it'll do the job. And for being a helmet that's only in the $32, $33 range, I think you get quite a bit. So first of all, uh, this one's the XL because I have a huge pumpkin sized head and it says Lucky Bums on it and it's uh, very shiny as you can see the reflection of everything that I've got here. Uh, there are helmets that are maybe matte. There are some that don't have the logo printed on the side. It's only on this one side. It does have this XL sticker right here. You can peel that off. It's just a sticker. Uh, but Lucky Bums is not painted on the other side. And so if you're going somewhere really snobby, maybe you don't want uh, the brand name there. There are a couple of um, cuts here, you know, very racy cuts. A couple of uh, portholes in the front here. Uh, there's like a plastic polyester a mesh in here like a netting there are three right here on the forehead three right here on the top so your head should breathe pretty nicely and uh, three um, sideways cuts on the back and so that's uh, that's all pretty nice you also have this um, strap here on the back with a uh, a pop snap and to be honest, I don't even know what that's for. So if you know, you can tell me. But it's certainly great to be able to grab it and handle it from there. But I'm sure that's for something. Uh, I didn't see any like screw holes or anything to mount like a GoPro. So if you're into that, um, you might be a little out of luck. But it should be breathe pretty nice. And then on both sides, you also have these three cutouts. Uh, the, the same on both sides with some venting. Uh, you also have these drop down ear pads. So you have uh, pretty nice protection. This is very much like a uh, sports uh, jersey mesh material. I don't like the, the material on um, you know any kind of major jersey. It's actually, it's, it's, it's very padded. It's not thick padded so that you can hear things through it, but it's kind of like squishy, um, like just like netting on netting, you know, that's kind of, but you can see how thick it is and that, that uh, inside here you've got a little bit of like microfiber as well as you know the mesh material is right there where so you can hear and uh, you can kind of um, follow what's in your surroundings now the inside has that same type of pattern pat, padding all the way around but inside of this this is all this this inch thick material is not like super soft there is some sort of hard material in here it's not bad you know because it kind of forces it to fit around your head but don't think that this is a, a an inch thick i'm squeezing it as hard as i can it has a few layers of this you know breathable netting around it and then on the inside as you might be able to see it's all kind of microfiber and so it's nice and comfortable against your head soft against your head uh so basically here's what it what i think it is it's like this you know really dense styrofoam right so this doesn't flex or give it all it's nice and light but it's gonna kind of create the physical uh, insulation around your head and then the shell is more just to take the the major impact and not make the foam break up and you know something you know you run into a rock you run into a tree this is supposed to kind of take that the brunt of it and then the styrofoam which would shatter when being pierced like that the shell will kind of um, distribute the impact across all the, the styrofoam and, and, and save your noggin. On the top here, you have just kind of this foam strap that runs kind of like a mohawk down the middle. Again, you're hoping that there's uh, going to be a little breathability here, but it actually should be pretty warm, kind of like a winter helmet. Um, there's also a fairly generous chin strap here that's on a 
very stiff nylon cord. It has a um, some a, a nice foam soft chin piece that would go up against uh, the bottom of your chin here, right on your right under your chin, and then kind of your standard plastic connector right there, and then the same thing there. Uh, in terms of adjustability, there isn't a lot of it. Uh, it's all on this side if you wanted to do that. Uh, the last thing is you can adjust it to your head and now this absolutely works. So this little dial here will kind of bring in or let out this plastic uh, headband. So it's kind of just like a Walder's helmet or um, any uh, work helmet where you can tighten it in like this or loosen it up like this. Uh, I found that even though this is an XL, I needed to keep it pretty loose. And that's what you can do, kind of that fine adjustment and kind of cinch it down, especially before you go on a run. You know, for me, when I'm doing all my uh, flips on the on the half pipe, this is, uh, I kind of cinch it down. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Uh, the other thing that I will say is that when I put the sucker on, it does fit. The only problem I had with it is it kind of, it's, it's not perfectly round, it's a little bit narrow. And so I was getting a little bit of pressure on my temples, you know, probably right in this region, uh, more so than was uh, comfortable. And you can kind of tighten everything down with the, the adjustment there, but I could never really get the pressure off my temples. It wasn't just kind of like sitting on my head and floating there. And so that was just a slight bit uncomfortable. I think for most people though, they have much narrower heads than mine. So even if you have a big head, uh, if you're kind of a, a little bit more of a, um, you know, a, a long head as opposed to a round head, it'll probably fit you even a little more comfortably and you can kind of uh, cinch it down. Now, I will say that the sizes were about right. I know I wear about it like an XL hat and uh, this one was no problem. I know in uh, some ski helmets, they say go a size up. So whether you're a snowboarder, a skier, or something like this, I think that protection, it just might save your life. My lucky bums, extra large, Ski and snowboarding helmet. Peter Von Panda. Out!